Hard hit on the ground. Backhand stop. Escobar throws a strike. Good throw. For First pitch fouled off by Ryan Mountcastle, who uh, Detmers the lefty tonight. Very well, I should say, has the Orioles He's played some in right field and at first base a little bit this year, too, as he looks at a strike from Tonder. And he lifts this place. And that's the second out as he returns to first. The batter will be Austin Hayes. Slugging at 462. Looks at his lefties. Looks at a strike from Reed Detmer. Hayes rolls one to short. Kyron Paris flips to second. Now I got to run away from Gooby. <laughs> it's one foul. A great defensive play. Doug Eddings there who just botched. Same thing with Mickey Moniak. A bunch of the guys came over and just had a lot of conversations with the champs. Shot. Field McKenna gets over though. Good jump. As he makes the catch. The ball kind of hung up a bit as Shana well. A baseball championship of that caliber, the Little League World Series. Looks at a strike here from Kramer. He drives this. He's going back toward the wall, and he makes the running catch, running onto his hit well. It almost felt like they were in left field. And they're almost underserved by having Mullins in center field as Henderson is thrown out at first. Batting cages. They got to get up close in personals with some more players while they watched batting practice. Two balls, one strike on Hicks. It's ready to go. That certainly is a good sign. Yeah. He just feel a little bit bad, Shohei. The well, stock after it, so is McKenna, and McKenna calls for it at the last moment to make the catch. Playing experience. And now he'll be able to at least get that over the final month of the season. And learn that pitching. There's a drive to left from Mohoppy. If it's fair, it is gone. That ball is foul. Well, that's a pretty nasty pitch. Sinker rated right the knees. Little cue shot toward third. Henderson looks Mohoppy back. Almost took too long. Rounded over third. Henderson will chuck it across and get the out to end the inning. We will hear. Here is the Little League version of Bill Mazeroski, Lewis Lappy, Lewis Oaks, and came back and won. So he had the, the ability to uh, be. Would have me in the MOB, I'd happily pay for them. Yeah, there you go. I like Do that, but that one was incredible. And it was, it was really awesome just having all my teammates pounce on me. Yeah, there might be times you don't get along, but at the end of the day, you still love each other. You look to your left, look to your right, and that's who you're playing for. <laughs> Runner going. Ohapi throws down to second, not in time. Jorge Mateo. Of the American. Yeah, that's a big jump, especially going on first movement for a lefty. He's in and doing certain things, and that's all this guy will do when he goes to the bat. He, when he goes to bat, he's going to. Now Rutschman to score, trying to make up for it with that throw to second base. Ooh. Real close. So half soon. He said he feel like celebrities everywhere they're going, having a blast. It's, well, they should. I'm better. Play Paris has great speed. Mateo gets it to first quickly and in time. All balance throw and a hard throw. Here's Shanoel here. One ball, one strike. Kyron Paris moving down. Brandon Drury swings the flat. And take this game into the fourth inning. Thanks to three straight hits. An error brought one of the runs home. Adley Rutschman scored on an Field for a base hit. Richick cuts that one off, and it's another single miles per hour. Ball one to Gunnar Henderson. Ultimately, Henderson swings through that pitch, and it's one ball, one strike. A lot of shorter outings. You look. That's a dangerous pitch against Henderson there. You saw that time. Drives this ball foul out of play to the right. And that backed up on him, stayed on the inner half at the Called strike three. That pitch right on the edge of the outside corner. Maybe a remember the 93 mile an hour fastball got the benefit his first time. Then Hefo cuts it off, fires it towards second base. They're gonna win. That throw from Paris had a lot on it. A strike to Logan Ohapi. Do as far as get your body in position to make a throw, and he did that perfectly there. Young player napping there. The bat broke on this squibbing ground ball. Detmer's trying to get over. High and tight. That pitch to McKenna. 
ball one strike on Ryan McKenna playing center field again. Backing up he makes the catch. And that ends the inning no runs for the Oro. Especially you should see some fastballs against. One ball one strike on Renhifo leading off here in the bottom of the fourth inning. Fouls had an ERA of 2.9. That's just foul off the bat of Renhifo. He's fouled into the Orioles dugout. Two balls two strikes on Renhifo. Nice job of fouling off that tough pitch. Slow curve. That's on the inside corner strike three called at the top of the zone. A four seam fastball upstairs and bring it back. This game becomes even more important to the Orioles now that the Rays have won. They beat the Red Sox, the Red Sox until last night, which helped Baltimore gain a game. So the Orioles three games up on the Rays. Swing and a miss by Mustakis. And back to back strike. Hoppy with that double his first time. Looks at a strike. Sure's. Yeah, natural hat trick, didn't he? In three innings? Yeah, three and three innings. Yeah. Yeah, Cincinnati walked it off against Seattle. They had a pretty big lead in that game, too. I think it was sick together tonight. If the Blue Jays beat Oakland, that would knock Texas back out of the play. They'll have to do some real work over the next three and a half weeks to. Four homer game, but settled for three. Hit two yesterday also, so that's five homers in the last two days. Tomorrow they play each other in Arlington as well, Scherzer and Verlander. Remember there was talk they thought Scherzer might miss or get to. The National League wild card is a real. This will be virtually impossible. So Henry Aaron Judge has absolutely waylaid the Orioles over the years. Really, the Yankees. Yeah, count in his favor. Two balls, no strikes. A little two out walk there by Kramer. Scott. Well, he could paint that outside corner with his fastball, though. And that's in there. Kramer again painting the outer part of the play. Two balls, two. This job of fouling off that cutter. It was Kramer and. Ball three, so now the runners will get a head start with two outs. Ground ball right to the shortstop. Mateo has that. And the inning is over. He's always there. Singled and scored in third. That's ball usage. And there's another change up there. At the old ballpark. And Gritchick right there. Priceless for this team. Yeah, really, you know, the, that's a lot of people talk about wins above replacement, especially now when it comes to over the last couple of seasons. And last year he had five wins above replacement in his rookie year. But the Orioles in two years, so it just goes to show that no matter what stat is out there, nothing can really encompass how. I mean, they were losing 100 plus games to seem every single season. The American League. There's a good curveball from Detmers on three and one to get into a full count with Rutschman, who's still three and two on Rutschman. Brandon Hyde was making its farm system. It's paid off now. There's still more prospects on the way, namely Jackson Hollett ball in. Now the curve that just missed. Looked like the home plate umpire landed. Bouncing ball to second should be a double play ball. Sit to the bag and gets it to first. Eduardo Escobar leads off here in the bottom of the fifth, followed by Kyron in the lineup tonight. Angels certainly being cautious with Shohei, who has that either have a couple of Hall of Famers or nobody on it. Yeah, I mean, it's amazing. You already look at his numbers this season.